Hey everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Foundation 5. Today I'm going to be doing a try-on and wear test of the new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I saw this release or the announcement of this release and I was so excited for it. I'm not really a Charlotte Tilbury person. I think that the products are fine or whatever. I've actually done a video on a lot of the products from the brand um, and then duped all of those products and I'll link that video in the eye. I just saw this particular launch and was so excited about it. Let's dive into the claims and the price, and then we'll get to the application portion. It claims to be long wearing, medium coverage, with a natural finish. It also has hyaluronic acid in it, and it says it is best for dry combo and normal skin. It is also, of course, cruelty free. I think the entire Charlotte Tilbury brand is. Um, it says that it's supposed to provide 16 hour wear with a natural glow, and it's supposed to have buildable to medium coverage. It's also supposed to hydrate, smooth, blur pores, and just kind of brighten and freshen up the skin. I am very excited about this particular one. I'm excited about the hyaluronic acid. It also has a rose complex, which is supposed to reduce visible signs of fatigue for brighter looking skin and Bix Active, which is supposed to visibly reduce shine and blur the look of pores. So I'm very excited about this. I did get a shade that was slightly too dark for my uh, neck and face skin, but I think it actually kind of matches the rest of my body pretty well. So that actually ended up working out, which is good. I'm going to jump into the packaging, but I do love the packaging. Just to let you know, I think that it is just the prettiest, but we'll get to that in the actual application portion when I pop the box open. I'm very, very excited for this foundation. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the application portion. All right, so let's pop this open. I do think uh, that I got the wrong shade. It definitely looks a little bit dark. It looked much lighter like online. So I was a little surprised that it was this deep, but we're just gonna make it work. We're gonna have to drag it down the neck today. It's gonna be fine. I'm actually really excited about this foundation. I'd like to call out the uh, packaging on camera. You can't tell as much, but it's this is like rose gold and the pump is rose gold. I love the pump with the squeezy tube. I just love that format. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my palette. Let's shake it up just to see if I need to. All right, there it is. Definitely a little bit deep, but that's okay. We're gonna make it work. I'm going to take um, my Blendiful and use it on this side and then a brush and sponge on this side. So let's go ahead and get applying. I think it has like a mild scent, but it doesn't seem fragrant. It's just maybe like a mixture of what the ingredients are. Definitely seems like kind of light coverage off of a first layer. I'm gonna finish up the rest of this half of my face, of course, but I definitely can still see some pigmentation, but it does look a little bit more perfected. So I like that. I am going to be trying to build this just to see how it builds and also if I can get a little bit more coverage. I usually do like two layers or like a layer and a half when I apply foundation because it looks a little bit more perfected. It is really pretty though, I will say that. Got a nice like natural looking finish. All right, so there is one layer on that side. You can still see my hyperpigmentation here from past acne, but it does look perfected and a little bit just more like smoothed out. So I like the way it's looking so far. So I'm gonna do another layer on this side, but like usual, I'm going to go in on the other side before I do that and go in with my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush and then smooth it over with my Milani sponge. So let's just take it and start applying it. It's smoothing over pretty nicely. I think I do see some mild brush strokes, um, but we'll look at it before I go in with a sponge to kind of smooth it out. It is going on very quickly with the brush, which is really nice. 
So once again on this side, uh, kind of like a light coverage, maybe a little bit of a light medium coverage. Um, I haven't smoothed it over with the sponge yet. It is pretty smooth, but there are just a few brush strokes. Um, so I think I would typically go in with a sponge after to smooth it out if I were using like a brush to apply this in the future. But I do think it looks really nice. I do like that I can see kind of some of like my freckles that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just smooth it over with my Milani sponge. It kind of just helped the brush strokiness and kind of smoothed it out. Um, so now I'm gonna go in back on the Blendiful side, of course, and do another layer and then go and do another layer on the brush and sponge side as well. Is kind of adding some more coverage seems to be pretty buildable which is good i always like a nice buildable foundation pretty much if the foundation is not buildable like i don't like it normally um even if it is full coverage off the bat just because i feel like it's just when they're easier to work with i tend to like them more if that makes sense yeah that was looking really nice super smooth it is definitely a little bit darker than my skin, but don't worry, I'm gonna drag it down my neck. So it definitely provided some medium coverage on that second layer, which is all it claims to provide. Um, so I'm fine with that. There is still some redness peeking through, so I might spot conceal when I go in with my concealer, just because um, I'll feel better if I do. But overall, I think it looks really, really nice. Um, let me go ahead and put the second layer on this side with the brush. I just do think that this makes my skin look really nice and healthy, which I like, um, obviously I like. It just looks so fresh. I will say on that second layer with just a brush, it didn't provide as much streakiness. So that's something to note. Um, I don't know if maybe it just has a little bit more to grip onto with the first layer or something, but I think it's looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead though and just go over with the sponge. Okay, so I have two layers on both sides. I think it's looking really nice. I went ahead and dragged it down my neck as well to kind of match everything. I think it looks really healthy and just a nice natural finish kind of with a slight do, but I really, really like it. So what I'm gonna do now, of course, is I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup, see how everything else applies on top of it, and then come back and let you know how that went, and also like my final initial thoughts, and then we'll do an outside natural lighting shot, and then go about our day, so I will be right back. All right, so I just finished applying the rest of my makeup over top of it, and everything went on so nicely. I think that I'm having a really good skin day today. I just feel like I look nice and fresh. The bronzer and highlighter and powder went over my foundation beautifully, no picking up or anything like that. Um, I think that it just looks so good in all the areas, but I also feel like it blurred pores. And I think in combination with this powder, it just is looking so nice and not like super matte, but just like that natural finish that the foundation claims to have, which I really, really like. Um, so I really don't have any complaints right now, which I love. You know, I really love when things go well. Um, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go outside and give you a shot in the outside natural lighting so you can see what it looks like in that particular lighting. And then I'm of course gonna go about my day and do check-ins every four hours. And it is 11 o'clock right now, so of course we'll be doing a check-in at three, seven, and 11 o'clock tonight. So you can see how this foundation wears and how it is looking throughout the day. But yeah, so far I'm really, really loving this foundation. And I'm really excited about that. I also was reading um, about this foundation more and it has less than 1% of synthetic fragrance. So that is very nice. Um, I do wish it was no fragrance, but less than 1% synthetic fragrance is nice. Um, so the smell that I was smelling earlier, the application portion, really is probably just mostly the ingredients mixed together and it's not an unpleasant smell. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go outside and give you a shot in natural lighting, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, go through the day. All right, so it is once again a very sunny day. So like I did in yesterday's episode, I'm gonna step out in the sun and give you like a close-up shot of it without talking. And then I'm gonna come back and give you my thoughts of how it looks in the sunlight. So I think it looks so good out here. I just think it looks so smooth and just so nice, not overly makeup-y or anything like that. And I just think that, I just think it looks really, really nice. That's how we're looking right now. 
but I'll see you in four hours for the first check-in. All right, so it is three o'clock, so welcome to the first check-in. Um, I'm actually in my car at Target, but I'm headed to Thomas's office because we're going to an Alabama basketball game tonight. So um, that might make the second check-in kind of difficult, but don't worry, I will somehow make that work. But let's talk about how we're looking at four hours. Um, I really don't have any complaints. Everything looks pretty much the exact same. I don't really think anything has changed. Um, I'm really impressed. I feel like my skin just looks so smooth and just fresh today. I'm really, really enjoying this foundation. So that is what we're looking like now. I will see you guys in the second check-in and we will see how I make that work while we're at a basketball game. <laughs> okay, so hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm in the bathroom. It's not the best lighting, but this is the best I can do. So the makeup still looks really, really good. I do have a little bit of creasing coming from my upper lip and a little bit in this smile line. But other than that, it's really looking so nice for eight hours. Um, so I really don't have much to say other than that. I'm glad I found a way to be creative to get this check-in in so you guys can see how it's wearing. But um, pretty much just looking really, really good. A couple of creases here and there, but nothing that makes me like upset or anything like that. So I will see you guys at 11 for the third and final check-in. All right, so we just got home from the basketball game. It is exactly time for my third check-in. So um, this is what we're looking like. I haven't touched up at all. By the way, I never touch up during the day when I'm doing these foundation like videos because I don't want to like compromise the video or anything like that. But this is what we're looking like. It looks so good. It's worn off a little bit on my chin, but I was sitting like this at the game, so that could be like my fault. Um, a little bit of creasing still like on the upper lip and like a little bit in the smile lines, but I would not change this at all. I think this looks great. This is definitely my favorite foundation that I have tried so far in this series. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and close off this video. I really hope you guys are enjoying the series so far and I really hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit the notification bell down below so you know when I upload in the future, including more episodes of this series and other just general videos of mine. And also subscribe if you're not already. I hope you guys are finding these videos helpful and entertaining and are just generally enjoying them. But I'm going to close off here and I will see you guys in tomorrow's episode.